Hey Android fans, this is Eric from HollywoodPhoto.com with another Android app review. Today I'm going to be talking to you about the app GIF Camera. Right before we get to that, I do want to remind you that this review is sponsored by Antitags.com, which is a really cool website to get uh, cool NFC keychains, NFC tags for use with your Android phone. And even if you don't know what NFC is, head over to the website and uh, you'll find out pretty quickly. Anyway, that's antitags.com. Head over there after this review. So, GIF Camera, to me, the best uh, GIF animation app um, uh, for Android as far as just taking pictures through the app to turn into a GIF or uh, taking pulling photos from your gallery that you've just taken with your camera and turning them into an animated GIF. Um, works really well in conjunction with uh, if you have like uh, a burst mode on your camera um, which is built in to, like the Galaxy S3 and S4 and Note um, but even if you don't have it in your built-in camera you can get a camera app that will do it so you can take cool burst mode pictures and then using uh, GIF camera you can turn them into a uh, really cool animated GIF. So let's head on my phone. I'm going to show you how it works and why it's cool and why I think it's the best. Okay, so here are my phone and there is the app GIF camera right there. So I'm going to tap that and open that up. And here we are inside the app. Uh, now if you want, you can browse funny GIFs that people have made, and you can also browse your own GIF album. But I want to show you more about what you can do. You can make a GIF using the camera, so if you press that um, using the camera inside of the app, then basically, when you, once you press the shutter button, it'll take 20 pictures in succession, and then turn those into a GIF. Even though there's nothing you can see here, because it's too dark, but you can see it's taking 20 fast pictures and then immediately turning those into a GIF. If there was anything moving around in there, you would see it, but it's all black. And then you can adjust the frame rate uh, manually, and then when you're done, you click save. If you want to drop out some of the frames, you can you could uncheck them and it would drop them out of it. So um, pretty cool for using that as a way to do it. Um, what I use it more for is to take pictures I've taken with my regular camera and turn those into GIFs. So if you click From Local, it'll take you into your album. And so you go into your album and uh, you find, uh, let's see, here's the one I took these pictures specifically to turn into a uh, GIF. And it goes in the order you tap them. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then you click done. And then it uh, imports the pictures. And as you can see, it turns it into an animated GIF. And there's our friends going up a cool escalator in Vegas. And let's see, you can speed it up or slow it down, however you want. You change the frame rate there at the bottom. And once again, if there are uh, pictures in here you want to take out of it, then you just uncheck them and it'll remove them from the GIF. If you want to reverse it, you click the reverse button and now they're coming down the escalator. And then when you're done, you just click save. Once you've set it up the way you want it, and it generates the GIF based on the information that you've chosen. And there it is. And you can share it to Facebook, or you can share it with the others, or share it to the Sina Weibo site. So, we're going to go back, and that was just a, I just took that, those pictures with my uh, camera. Uh, just took them randomly uh, at thought of the idea while my friends are going up the escalator, put up my camera and did it. Um, so you can also take pictures, uh, take use this with burst mode. Uh, the Samsung Galaxy series has burst mode built into it, um, which I use a lot. Uh, but then you, you know, there, if you don't have a Galaxy, there's a lot of different camera apps which have that mode. So, with this, you could take like a really 
cool uh, uh, burst mode with a lot of picks and then you can import them in and then create a GIF and because burst mode takes these pictures very rapidly so we can get it to focus there you go because it takes these pictures very rapidly it it's perfect for creating really cool GIFs like this so you can see how that's pretty cool and then you can uh, again you can speed it up if you want to or you could slow it really slow it down if you wanted to do slow more of a slow-mo kind of a thing and when you get it to where you want it to be then you just uh, click save and there you go and it'll save it in your GIF album but just to show you it also will be in your regular album uh, now it depends on what kind of what phone you have you have a a current phone then you should be able to play it without any problem the Samsung Galaxy phones will play GIFs so here's the uh, the elevator GIF that I created earlier Let's see it at full resolution and so as you can see it's pretty uh, you can do some pretty cool things with it um, create some some cool GIFs that you can use on Facebook or websites or however however you want to use it but that's uh, Jeff camera if I can get back over to it there we go there we go so that's Jeff camera that was Jeff camera as you can see you can uh, do some really cool stuff with it uh, using it to take pictures and turn into a Jeff animated GIF or using another camera app especially with like burst mode getting some really cool pictures and turning those into an animated GIF. Anyway it is available for free on Google Play so check it out there. If you like this video please click the like button. If you have any friends, family that you think would be interested in uh, checking out this app and putting it on their phone so they can make cool animated GIFs then share this video with them via Facebook, Twitter, Google+, Reddit, etc, etc, etc. That's about it for this time. Subscribe to my channel if you want to keep up with other reviews I do of Android apps and also all sorts of other things. You can check those out on my channel. And uh, until next time, this is Eric reminding you that your Android phone is only going to be as good as you make it.